Hello everybody! Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we went after Latias. In this episode, let's see who we go after today. Now, let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Donny. Heavens the Betsy, you've gone and completed 60 solo quests. I do say you earned yourself one of my special snacks, Donny. Ooh, we get the Lunala treat. That there's a Lunala treat. You know Lunala, frightfully rare that one, not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Lunala, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I was on a fine sandy beach in Paldea, gazing out at the sun as it set head into the sea. Looking at the sun really reminds you just how small you are as one person, you know? I was getting all sentimental as I watched the light slipping away. It hadn't yet disappeared when suddenly this giant crescent moon bloomed before my eyes. It was only there for an instant, so it was hard to get a good look. But I'm sure that silhouette belonged to Lunala, or my name is not Snacksworth. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. If you run into old Lunala, you be sure to give it my best. So we need to look for Lunala. Problem is, his is probably one of the biggest description he gives as he barely gives you a location. However, it is close to Casaroba Lake. I believe it is located somewhere around here. Because I believe it is looking out into the ocean. Or it could be around here, and actually, now that I think about it. And of course, low battery. I'm going to have to plug the, tr the controller in. See if we can find it. I know it's some uh, on this side of Casaroba. Matter of fact, I think it's somewhere around here. Now that I remember, remember rightly. Because I do know, I believe it's looking out of one of these islands. There it is! We found her! Let's see, who do I want to send against it? Uh, Dora would probably be the best pick. Let's save in front of her. Now, this would have been more fitting if this was nighttime, given that she's the Pokemon of the Moon. Plus, also Dust Balls. Well, let's fight. I love how she looks in this game. So Lunala! Oh, level 70 Ghost Sub Psychic! And with the moves Shadow Shield! With the moves Psychic! Psychic Moonblast, Phantom Force, and Dream Eater! Um, the Phantom Force can be really annoying because it will disappear for a turn and you cannot attack it, and then it will attack you the following turn. Oh, right, you're. Regular Terra Blast ain't gonna work because it's part ghost. Oh, let's bring in Amphi. And by the way, do not try using moves like Protect and Detect because Phantom Force goes straight through that. So she has a free way of damaging you. I don't know why she has Dream Eater on, on her since she has no way of putting you to sleep. And nice, I got the static off. In any way, shape, or form. The only way I can see the Dream Eater being remotely useful if you use a move on yourself that puts you to sleep. Actually, yes, keep lowering my special attack, because that would make my special attacks more useful. Try to use Dream Eater. So yeah, I can only see that being beneficial if you're using a move like Rest to heal off the damage. 
And of course I have to get that crit! Let's try this again, but with less failure. If he just happened to decide to, right, I'm gonna get a critical hit and make you reset. All right. Let's go for fire punch since it's safer, or it's just gonna disappear. If it gets the um, static off, that would be very useful. Nice, got the static. And actually the reset's good because the sun is beginning to set, so if the battle goes on long enough, I can use my dust balls. Now hopefully, if Amphi doesn't get a critical hit, it should survive one more fire punch. Actually looks kind of good in the sunset, oh my god. Where am I? There's my Ultra Balls. And it begins. At least it can't do anything because it's paralyzed. Wow, I'm getting super lucky with the paralysis, oh my god. One. Ah, damn it. And Lunala finally gets to do something after being paralyzed for like, what, three, four turns? Yes, darkness, please come. I did a decent amount of damage to Amphi. Doesn't affect Amphi. What was it? Oh, did she try to use Dream Eater? Come on, you'd even shake. One. Ugh. You're at very low health and you're paralyzed. Why did you not get captured? Especially since I don't remember your capture rate being that low. One, two. Ugh. One. Ugh, why? Just why? One. One, two, come on! One, two, three! Why didn't you get captured? Wait, you're gonna use Phantom Force. Well, I can't throw a Pokeball at you this turn. Did that miss? I looked away for a second. Did it miss or did the paralysis go off? Because I thought Phantom Force could not miss.
One, two, three. Why didn't you get caught? Uh. This should be a capture. I don't know why it's being so stubborn. I swear to God, the the dust balls are not properly programmed in this game. Cause this Lunala should be caught. Lunala's capture rate is not that low. Unless they have lowered it, it between sun and moon, but it's not that low. And dust balls have a two times capture rate in when it's dark out, so I don't know why they're not working. Great, you're disappearing for a turn. Ah, good not attack because paralysis. Let's try one more dust bowl and this fail on switching to the timers. All right, screw you. I don't know why I'm having better luck with the timer balls instead of the dust balls. The Bruiser dust balls are stronger than timers. One, two, three. Ugh. One. Why? One. What the hell? One. Uh, why is nothing working on it? The timer should be at full strength by now. The dust bowl won't capture. One, two, three. Thank you. Finally caught her. Have a quick look. And just like the Sun Lion, I want to actually nickname this Moon Bat. Because I think it would be fitting since we caught her brother. Luna. And with that, we will end the episode here. So in the next episode, we'll see what legendary Pokemon we go after next. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Oh, oh, on your thoughts of this episode. Oh, and share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Also, in case you're wondering about the nickname Luna, yes, as she is a character that's shared among me and my friends, that is the brother of my friend's character Apollo, who she's also the queen of the world. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Later.